Hi there, my name is Adam Troop and today I'm going to do a little video about my computer. Basically, I've not upgraded my computer since about 2011, 2012, somewhere around then. Currently running an i7-2600K, which is a 3.4 GHz processor from you know, what, 2011. Uh, right back then and uh, and 32 gig of RAM. I've got a good uh, graphics card which I actually upgraded last year and it's been great but I've started to feel Aha! Ryzen! So as you can see I've decided to move away from Intel for this build and go to the AMD Ryzen 7 should be the right one, the 1800X, so it's the 8 core processor. Don't need that. Crosshair IVVPI 6. Is that 6? This looks nice. Motherboard, I've got the RAM, I've got the processor, I've got a blowy thing to clean it all out. What else do I need? Okay, so step one, I'm basically going to clean everything using this new... dust in here. I didn't think it was that much, but... Had to go and get some thermal paste. This jacket glows in the dark. Okay, so I think that's basically it ready to go and boot it up. This is the moment of truth. I'm pretty sure everything is connected the way it should be and... I'm not getting anything. Oh! We have something! I forgot I was going to unplug all those drives. Okay. Uh, USB device or current series. We're in the BIOS. Fantastic. My computer's now been up and running for a number of days, probably about four or five days. What's it been like upgrading from the Intel 2600K to the AMD Ryzen 7? 1800X. One of the best things is when the computer is busy exporting video, stabilizing footage, doing any of these things, I can actually go and do other tasks and uh, which is fantastic. It used to be on the, the old computer that it would pretty much, you know, if you're exporting, you just leave it. Otherwise you're going to end up making it hang and you're going to have to start all over again. Um, so that's, that's fantastic. I would say that's a, a massive bonus but is it worth the thousand pound upgrade? Well, it depends. You know, if you've got other things you can do whilst it's exporting, you know, it's uh, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, although, um, you know, it's uh, it is nice to be able to keep working on your computer. Export times. This is something that I was really interested in. Yeah, I've been really, really impressed with the export times. So to give you an example, I was exporting a 4K. Uh, wedding video which contains uh, multi-camera sequences, it contains uh, stabilized footage, it's uh, it's got a bit of everything, it's mixed cameras, it's, it's got pretty much everything going on in it, lots of audio sources. Say an hour and a half video in 4K exporting to a DVD, in the past that would have taken my processor probably, you know, a good two and a half, three hours maybe three and a half hours, quite a bit more. Uh, you know, longer than the actual length of the video I'm exporting. This did it in 35 minutes. So that's a massive, massive upgrade compared to what I was used to. And in fact, I've just 
exported, how long's that taken? This one's a 1080p wedding. Two hours and 11 minutes is the total runtime of the main feature. And I was exporting it to a DVD and it took 20 minutes. 20, well, it's, if you want me to be very specific, it took 21 minutes, 42 seconds for a two hour 11 wedding video to be exported, a 1080p wedding to be exported to a DVD uh, quality export and now it's exporting the exporting the same thing but to a, a, a H.264 Blu-ray. It's just going through the preparing all the audio part which takes you know uh, a, wee, a wee bit of time for it to do. There's a lot of audio to prepare but once it's done that it blazes through it. It's absolutely amazing. So the fact that you can multitask is great but the fact that you can export something. I mean, that's that's just crazy. That's so much faster than it would be to even watch the thing. So, you know, but safe to say, very, very impressed with the results. I really wasn't sure what kind of performance upgrade I was gonna get, because, you know, I've, I've grown quite used to my 2600K processor and what, what, what it does. It's basically, I would say, drastically exceeded my expectations of what kind of upgrade uh, benefits I was gonna get. So I hope that was helpful. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more camera related stuff, uh, then like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.